one of the interesting things about the story of Jonah is the reality of how their wickedness rose up before God. And this reveals that we cannot hide our evil from God. This is impossible. And it offends God. Our sins are not something God takes lightly, especially any mortal sins. For all sin offends God first, because God is holding us in being. And this is why God gave us the confessional. This is why our Lord reveals the reality of the fires of Gehenna. And he speaks about repentance in a real way, the necessity to change one's life with his divine help. For God is so merciful, he does not say to us, change yourselves by your own power. But he gives us his divine help in the sacramental life to truly become virtuous and holy. And I believe we all have enough sins to worry about ourselves before we go and reproach our neighbor. This is why the psalmist states, if you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, who could stand? And this reveals our essential need for mercy in all of us. And why the church begins every holy mass with a confession of sins Because the church is real. She's not fake. But we all should be little Jonas. But where Jonah failed was after he went to Nineveh and proclaimed the reality of God's judgment. They repented, and God was very merciful. They really changed their ways, not with words, but deeds. And Jonah was angry because he knew God would be merciful. There is this self-righteous attitude that kind of wants people to go to hell. And if we really think about the fact that hell is eternal, we shouldn't want anyone to go there. God's abounding mercy, it says in Scripture, displeased Jonah exceedingly. And I believe this, this displeases people too if we don't have that real authentic vision about the last things. When we have the real eternal vision of the fires of hell. Now, if people continue in their wickedness until death and they don't really change, they can go there and be eternally separated from God for all eternity. We shouldn't want anyone to go there. Also, if we really contemplate the realities of the fires of purgatory, which purify us in the end because God's justice is undying, we really would be a lot more merciful to all people that we meet.